Okay, so we're at Portland Island. Uh, fortunately, I had the youth hostel last night and tonight, so walk around the island. Okay, just noticed here, just under this house, you see a bird of prey. It looks like a kestrel. Not sure how clear it's going to be on fishing camp. Just sitting perched up there. We did go over to the right hand side into some of the scrub. I saw myself and then he sat back up there. So I think he's waiting for me to move so he can go in and hit a vole or something. Looking over Weymouth Harbour, we can also see Chesil Beach heading on into uh, the rest of Dorset and then Devon and then we're coming across out of Portland and then over to my left we have uh, just over the top of the hill uh, this is the Citadel uh, built in 57 to 1881 built as uh, Portland's main fortification it's a very defensive fortification obviously you cannot attack from the left or right because of the sea and then it has gun batteries all the way around uh, which we'll come across later on we'll see at least two of those gun batteries and then it was used in World War One and World War Two as a main artillery position the citadel has been used a, a fortress then it was a prison the prison closed down 15 years ago and then it was made into an immigration detention center and after that it was closed down i believe about four or five years ago Okay, we've just uh, reached the Royal Navy Cemetery. As you can see, it seems that quite a lot of these people were on HMS Astros, uh, and the date for most of them is the 17th of October 1948. So overlooking the gun placement, so this is the high angle gun placement, as you can see straight in front we have six gun uh, placement positions, obviously guns are being taken, the uh, plates that used to hold them are still there, and looking to our right hand side is where the gun positions would have been facing towards, and as you can see the sea over there. In front of us we have a quarry, which is obviously Portland Stone, uh, famous for obviously buildings like St Paul's Cathedral, and a lot of the uh, larger buildings in London are built from Portland Stone, uh, which is still quarried within Portland itself today. So heading away from the gun position, which is just beyond that fence, we walk back onto the, the coastal path. we can go this way and which is the way we're going to go. So continuing along the coastal path uh, on our right hand side we have uh, Admiralty quarries on the left hand side we have the coast. We're walking towards a chapel that was built by the convicts of the prison. You can see the nice blue sea looking over yonder Okay, so we come to the footpath, we come in to a left and a right. Uh, but on the left hand side, we have one of the coast path stones, 
and it says King Barrel Quarries to the right and the Coast Path to the left. So we will continue walking left. So we're heading down this uh, little uh, pathway that's walled on our side and we come to what is called the Convicts Chapel. But it was built by convicts. And to our left we have the Youth Offenders Prison, so the Young Offenders Prison. Presumably built from Portland Stone. We walk around the circumference of the building. Little nice little pieces on it. Again another building it reminds me of is the Templars um, Temple in London. Not accessible which is a pity. Would like to have looked inside. So this is a St Peter's Church. Uh, it's a redundant 19th century church located in the Grove area of Portland. It was designed by Major General Sir Edmund de Caine. And the church was built between 1870 and 72. Grade 2 listed building now. It was built by the convicts of the local prison and I must say they've done a fairly good job. I mean the convicts, the stonemation capabilities of them must have been brilliant. I know Portland Stone is a good stone to work with, but nevertheless if it was built by convicts they did a very good job indeed. Okay so I took the alternative path walking across the top which ended uh, coming to a dead end. So I've taken a path to the left, which is now going to take me back. We should take a right any moment now, and then I'll take us back along the coastal path. As you can see there, it's all fenced off and it also looks like it's a dangerous building but uh, yeah this is Rufus Castle or Rufus Castle so we started walking up the pathway away from Rufus Castle and now we come to Portland Museum and we also come to the main road and we'll continue following this way along the road And then we see the rest of Dorset. So heading off the uh, path uh, by the side of the coast, God's Cottages, uh, we come to Pulpit Inn, which is the bar. And then looking over to, in front of us, uh, I believe this is a Coast Guard uh, radar observation area. And then over to our left, we have Portland Bill. Moving down we have beach huts and looking around across the coast and then we're walking towards Portland Hill.
as the path is uh, not accessible, the coastal path uh, must have been due to some landslide or falling rocks. Uh, you have to go through, uh, I believe this is called Tout Sculpture Park, uh, which is an old quarry, uh, which uh, they took 30,000 tons of Portland stone to make the sea defences. And then the remaining stone in the quarry, the artist took over. And the, as you go around the area, you can see certain things that artists have done, like uh, sculptures in the rocks. Uh, you can see faces. will take us up to the top of uh, Fortune Well, the spirit of Portland and the Olympic Stones. And then we would head back towards the youth hospital.